Hey guys, it's Miss Warren. I am going to do Raiders Workshop for you today. This week we're going to be learning all about dinosaurs. And before we read, I want you to be listening for a couple words while we're reading today. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Our first word we're listening for is museum. Hmm, think about what a museum is. Okay, when you hear this word while I'm reading, stop and think about it. Our next word we're going to listen for is fossil. I bet you think you know what fossil is already, but we'll wait and hear it in the story. After that, we're going to listen for this really big word called paleontologist. Can you say that? Paleontologist. Whoa, that's a really big word. And the last word we're going to listen for is extinct. Okay, so when you hear me read these words, I want you to stop and think about them. Okay. Here we go. Our book is called Dinosaurs. Big scary bones. Have you ever seen dinosaur bones in a museum? Oh, stop. We heard the word museum. Mm, think about have you ever been to a museum? Maybe you've been to the Children's Museum or the Wonder Lab or maybe another kind of museum. Tell me what museum have you been to? Cool. A museum is a building where you can see dinosaur bones and other really important things. Um, you can usually see things that don't exist anymore. They might have existed a long time ago. So we're going to make a motion for the word museum. What do you think we should do? I like that. Here's what I'm going to do. A place where you can go inside and see cool things. Can you say that with me? A place where you can go inside and see cool things. All right, actually a fun fact, this picture here in our story is from the Indianapolis Children's Museum. I bet you might have seen this if you've been to our museum. Anyway, you know what a museum is. Let's keep going. Some of the dinosaur bones are huge. If bones came to life, it would be pretty scary. But don't worry, all the big scary dinosaurs died off long ago. The bones weren't always at the museum. So where did they come from? The dinosaur bones were buried safely in a rock for a long time. The bones are fossils. <gasps> I heard the word fossil. Think about what a fossil is. Hmm. Can you tell me what you think a fossil is? Yeah. Anything else? Okay. Fossils are a part of a living thing that has been saved in stone. Bones are usually in a fossil, but sometimes plants can be in a fossil. And when you find a fossil, you have to be very careful to get it out of the rock because you don't want to break the pieces. All right. So that was the word fossil. Let's make a motion for the word fossil. I'm going to pretend in my hand and I'm digging out a fossil. Can you try that too? Good job. All right, so the bones are fossils. Paleontologists found them. Paleontologists. Hmm. Think about what is a paleontologist? Paleontologist. Hmm. Can you tell me what a paleontologist is? Oh. If you said a person who studies dinosaurs or digs up dinosaur bones, you were right. A paleontologist is a scientist. Ooh, we know what scientists are. A paleontologist is a scientist who finds and studies fossils. Good job. So the scientists found the fossils and then they dug them out of the ground. Whoops, we forgot to add a word for paleontologist. I'm going to put on a paleontologist hat and I'm going to use my tools. Can you do that too? Put on a paleontologist hat. And use your tools. Good job. Let's keep going. They brought the fossil bones to the museum and cleaned them. Then they put them all together. Bones were on the inside of a dinosaur. But what did a dinosaur look like on the outside? It's kind of like a big puzzle. There's a little joke up here. It says, what's the best way to talk to a dinosaur? And the answer is long distance. Tell your parents that joke. All right. Some dinosaur skin left prints in the mud. 
The mud hardened and saved the prince. These fossils tell us that some dinosaurs were scaly, like lizards, and some dinosaurs had feathers like birds. Ooh, that's pretty cool. This one's called a triceratops, and this one's called, ooh, I don't know how to say that, but these letters down here help me. Bwee-tree-raptor. Bwee-tree-raptor. Whoa. Dinosaur superstars. Here's some special dinosaurs. This one right here is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. He was one of the biggest meat eaters that ever walked the earth. This one here is called Diplodocus. It was one of the longest dinosaurs ever found. Ooh, he's got a long neck and a long tail. And then this one is Pachylosaurus, and he walked on two legs and had a thick dome on his head. Up here we have a Triceratops. He had a huge head with three large horns and a wide neck frill. Down here, Ankylosaurus was an armored dinosaur. It had a solid bone club at the end of its tail. Down here, we have Stegosaurus. He had rows of tall plates running down its back. Its tail had four deadly spikes. Ooh, I wouldn't want to be around any of those. When you go to the museum, be sure to look for the smallest dinosaurs. Some are small enough to hold in your hand. Can you imagine that? Many small dinosaurs had feathers. This dinosaur is called a Microraptor. This is about the size of a kid, and this is the size of a Microraptor. Pretty tiny. Now let's talk about the biggest dinosaurs. The biggest dinosaurs were the long neck sauropods. You can't miss them. Sauropods, like the Arginian Toosaurus, are the biggest land animals that ever lived. Here's the size of a kid like you, and here's how big the dinosaur is. Oh my goodness. Walking on tiptoes. Big or scaly, I'm sorry, big or small, scaly or feathery, all dinosaurs walked on their toes. And all dinosaurs had curvy S-shaped necks. Ooh, there's their knee and their ankle and their toe and their neck. What did dinosaurs eat? A dinosaur's teeth tells us what it ate. Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus were plant eaters. They had dozens of chisel-like teeth. Their teeth were good for snipping through branches. Ooh, there's a fossil. Here's a picture of the Brachiosaurus. Other dinosaurs were meat eaters. They ate other animals. This dinosaur here called the Dino Ignacus. I think that's how you say it, had sharp teeth as sharp as a steak knife. They were perfect for slicing meat. Ooh, I wouldn't want to be near that one. Dinosaur moms and babies. All dinosaurs, even the scariest meat eaters, laid eggs and had babies. Some of them, like an oviraptor, guarded their nest and kept the eggs warm. When the baby hatched, the parents looked after them until they were big enough to live on their own. Hmm. Does that look like anything you've ever seen? Maybe a regular bird in a nest? Is that a dinosaur? Lots of people think that anything big and dead is a dinosaur, but that's not right. Do you think this is a dinosaur? No, the woolly mammoth was huge, but this animal didn't lay eggs like a dinosaur, and it had fur. No dinosaurs had fur. The woolly mammoth lived after the big dinosaurs went extinct. Oh, ooh, we found our last word, extinct. Do you know what extinct means? Mm -hmm. You're right. Extinct means it's not around anymore. They're no longer alive. When a whole group of animals dies out, it's called extinct. So let's do this for extinct. All gone. It's not around anymore. Is this a dinosaur? It's a chicken, what do you think? Well, it walks on its toes, it has a curvy neck, it has feathers, and it lays eggs. So technically, yeah, a chicken is a dinosaur. All birds are living dinosaurs. Wow, that's pretty cool. Your pet dinosaur. 
Many people would love to keep dinosaurs as pets. You might think a Tyrannosaurus Rex would be fun to play fetch with, but you wouldn't want to be in near it at dinner time. And besides, it's extinct. If you want a dinosaur of your own, look for one that's small. A small dinosaur would make a good pet. All right, and here were our words. Let's see if you remember. Extinct. Not around anymore. They're all gone. A fossil is a part of something that had been saved in stone, so you have to carefully dig it out. A museum is a place where you go inside and you see cool things. And a paleontologist, put your hat on, is a scientist who studies fossils. All right, guys, thanks for reading with me today, and I will be back to talk to you more about dinosaurs. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.